How you doing guys? Today we have a 2015 Chevy Sonic. Um, this is a flip key. The customer have a uh, worn out key and we're gonna create a new key. So first thing first, we're gonna have to decode his key. As you can see, his key is worn out and we're gonna create a brand new one. I'm gonna put it in the SEC E9 key machine. I'm gonna put it on the second thread and uh, we're gonna go back to the main menu. We're gonna go to search and we're gonna go by key blank. We're gonna write down HU100. Now it have two versions, eight and 10, but we need the eight cut and we're gonna hit the code and the code. Now this is not gonna work, so we'll have to change it. I'll have to stop. We're gonna clear it up and hit the code and we need to change the picture to the second thread on the clamp and hit okay. So now it's gonna decode uh, the depth on, on the key and we can uh, cut another key. By the way, if you like those videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot and you can see our daily videos. After it decode everything, I always like to remove the key and put it next to the picture on the machine and make sure that it looks the same and it makes sense. There is no jumps uh, between the cuts, between the depth. Now I'm going to put a new key inside. And when I'm talking about jump, uh, it cannot be like a four and then a one. It must be no more than one digit deeper. So if it's a one, it can be either two or a three afterwards. And I'm going to speed up the cutter and I'm going to start cutting the blade. After we finish cutting the first side, I'm going to clean up all the metal shavings. I always clean it up from the inside towards the outside of the machine. So nothing goes inside the guts of the machine. I'm going to flip up the key and I'm going to put it upside down. Same position and we're going to hit second cut on the machine. And close the lid. After we finish cutting the second side, we can cl clean up again the clamp and the key. And we can go and test it on the door and then I'll show you how to program. It's pretty simple. So the new keys, actually I made two of them. They work perfectly fine on the door both ways. So we're going to sit down in the, um, I, I will have to move back the seat. And what you want to do is you want to first put the original key. There is a security light on top. You want to put the key on on position for five seconds until the orange security light disappears. After it, within five seconds, you put the new key on on position and the security light will stay lit for five seconds and it's going to turn off. Within five seconds, you can put the third key and it's going to register it. That's an onboard uh, programming. So now this will start the car, no problem. You can see the gauge is coming up. We're going to test all of those keys and they all work the way it should. Now we'll close the door and test the remote. Works the way it should. And works the way it should. That's it for today. Um, it's pretty simple process. Shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. I really appreciate you guys watching it. Let me know in the comments below if you had this vehicle before and if it worked for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know again in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you. See you next time.